Ceramic bearings, is there any point putting them in a motor to improve its performance so you get an extra RPM? Well in theory a ceramic bearing which has ceramic balls and uh, a high quality case, normally stainless steel, has um, very low slop. Uh, they're made to higher precision than normal bearings so you'd expect the motor to run very uh, sweetly. Um, so the only way to test this is uh, to measure the motor, the RPM performance with normal bearings and then put the ceramic bearings in and remeasure. Um, now this motor has had a mishap, uh, the sensor uh, is broken, uh, one of the sensors actually f uh, f uh, fell out. Um, so I'm going to rebuild this, clean up the bearings and everything that are in it, test it, then uh, replace with these high quality ceramic and uh, retest to see if we can measure any difference. <laughs> this motor's lost a couple of sensor all effect devices off here where the um, well, well something's happening, there's one of them there. Luckily I've got another sensor board to put in. Let's do that. Now, uh, regarding the uh, bearings, now the original bearings are normally pretty good in motors these days. Uh, you can always check after you clean them that they spin nicely uh, and um, there's no unusual play sideways, even though standard bearings tend to have a bit of play. Check the bearing in the other uh, end as well by putting it on a shaft and spinning it. Um, as far as cleaning, once you clean you must re-oil. Uh, you don't have to use very very thin oil, you can use a, a high quality um, oil for bearings uh, that won't drag once uh, once it's uh, spun up. But you can't run them dry, they're seize up. Taking it apart you can see that uh, bearings get very dirty inside if you're not careful and uh, they can uh, get so much dirt in they can uh, not rotate properly uh, spin so um, this one after taking it apart you get to it it needs to be cleaned up with some sort of cleaner and um, uh, really flush through and then oiled with um, a decent oil and then spin it up on the end of, a, of the uh, stator shaft and uh, see if it's going to um, spin at the moment it probably won't spin because I've just uh, cleaned it so um, just clean that up a bit more okay we've got it cleaned and oiled and this one is spinning uh, pretty nicely now same as the front one so those are the um, original bearings I'll put it back together and test it and then we'll swap them for the ceramic I've assembled the motor and tested it uh, with the standard bearings. Uh, I've set the time in the best I can to get about 6 amps. It was, I couldn't quite get it 6, so 6.1. Um, now when, uh, set, when I change the bearings put the ceramic in, I'm going to have to set the, um, the amps the same because the end bell will probably move when I take it off. Anyway, we look at, uh, record the results. Uh, it's um, 26,000 and it's 3,429 uh, revs per volt. So um, those figures we can compare. And the average timing is 50 degrees. The spread on that sensor board is terrible, but it's still 50 degrees. Now I'm going to do the noise test. Um, and the noise test, uh, I've got it on this. Um, little rubber mat uh, it depends on how you put it make sure it's on, on the um, rubber o-rings rest and we just uh, check it out peak of 98 dBs so um, it's quite noisy so we check it now with the ceramics Right, how to replace the bearing in the motor without damaging it, you just uh, uh, got to be careful. Um, the bearings in this end are the easy ones to get out. 
Um, sometimes they're loose and they just fall out. Sometimes they're too tight, which is not too good if it squeezes the bearing. But these days, they, uh, with the tolerances, the manufacturing, they're normally uh, a good fit. How to get it out? Well, as you're going to throw it away, it doesn't matter too much. But you do need some way of pushing it out. I select something that just uh, fits over the bearing it, it, without uh, fouling on the ends. And uh, you put it over something with a hole in it. Uh, just put uh, get a hammer. I've got this um, plastic one which isn't too bad but you'll probably just have a metal one. And just knock it out like that. You can throw that away. Now put in the new one in. Now that's where you've got to be more careful. Just clean that out if necessary. Uh, you get the uh, the new ceramic bearing. Let's just cut this out. Now you can't just hammer that in there because you could uh, damage it. The the bearing has to be. Um, it's not supposed to be hammered from the side. It's a rotational thing that way. It's not supposed to take loads that way because the cage holds the balls in. And this centre part, if you push it backwards or forwards, it will damage the cage. But, so how to knock it in? Well, you, you've got the old bearing, which is an exact fit over the top of that. And then you can use, preferably if you've got an old stator, or, I mean a rotor, you can uh, feed the bearings in on the old rotor. Okay, this one's a bit tight, find one that fits. And... Uh, you can knock it in with the old bearing, which uh, will press on the outside. Make sure you've got it uh, square in the hole to start with, and not uh, not cocked at an angle. Uh, put the old bearing on top, and then you can, uh, you can tap it in. Did you hear that sharp bang? That means it's in. And you know it's fully in. If you're not sure, have a look, see if there's any gap. But you can tell when it's in because it's normally flush. So that's how you do this side, and I'll just do the other side as well. Okay, the uh, other end. Sometimes not quite so easy, it's recessed in a hole and everything. But anyway, I fit it over here. Um, I've got this uh, drift. Take the old bearing out. That's really tight, very tight indeed. Probably it's quite deep inside the uh, in the housing there, so it had a lot of uh, to knock it out. Anyway, the old one's out. Make sure the housing's clean. Now you don't want to damage the face of this. You could put a piece of paper on there if necessary. Get the new ceramic. Now uh, make sure you line it up reasonably uh, square to start with. It's very, very tight. This is the trouble with some of these are, t are very tight. If you can't uh, quite line it up, use um, a, a rotor just to twist it about. Okay, this one's going to be uh, quite hard. This is an old um, brushed motor I used to knock in bearings with. It's got the uh, big com on it, and which is just the size of the bearing, so that it pushes on the outside to knock them in. The advantage also of using this, you can tell if you've got it vertical and it's not leaning over one way or the other. So uh, I've got it in basic position. And now I've just got to uh, drift it in. I could use, as I say, because it's um, wide, it's going to push on the outer case. If you were very worried about it, could still put the old bearing on it, which would take some of the impact. And, uh, There it goes, you get that really loud bang when it gets fully in. So that's fully in now. 
Um, if they're too tight, it crushes the bearing uh, and you get a really lumpy rotation. So um, hopefully that's a bit tighter than I, I like. Uh, hopefully it's going to be all right. Okay, these ceramics come uh, ready uh, with a special oil in them so they don't spin. spin. If I spray that out, that would spin uh, really freely. But you don't want to take that special oil out. It would just, uh, it's in there for a purpose. So, you can put it back together and we can test it. I put ceramic bearings in and uh, the timing's the same, 50 degrees. Let's just ch check the noise. Um, well, slightly less, 95 dB, so at least uh, the noise has gone down. Um, but is there any more performance? Let's just check the KV. Well, according to this, uh, 6.1 amps, it's uh, 3360, that's actually less than before. Uh, the voltage current. So looking at the results, um, time and same uh, at the 6.1 amps. The original standard bearing is um, 3429 uh, revs per volt and with the ceramic bearings it's slightly less but the noise is uh, fractionally less. Um, so what can you say? Ceramic bearings in theory, it should enable the motor to uh, rev freely, but um, barring a few uh, setting errors on here, uh, it's not quicker.